Hello, my fellow sneakerheads. This is Sneaker Investment Benjamin Scott. Welcome to a very special Sneaker Gems Top 10 Sneakers of 2020. On today's special edition, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 sneakers of this year. Let's start things off at number 10 are the Yeezy Foam. They were released back on June 26th of this year. And the retail price on StockX.com is 75 bucks. Can you believe that? $75. <laughs> Good luck putting that in your sneaker budget. I just did a sneaker review on the sneakers. I let me tell you, it looks like a bony structure shoe, but it is a sneaker. You can slip on in there without using some shoe strings, of course. It's like you're wearing sandals going to the beach. <laughs> or better yet, when you're at the beach. <laughs> Those are some dope sneakers, no doubt about that. But I don't know if I can wear them. You know? Those are sneakers. You know how it is. Coming in at number 9 is the Off-White Sale Air Jordan 4s. The release date was on... July 25th, and the retail price on StockX is $200. Ain't not bad, but put that in your sneaker budget, though. I got a chance to see a pair of the off-white sales. The fours were dope. They look awesome. And, of course, my boy Platinum, he warned them as well. Of course, shout out to my boy Platinum Williams. And, of course, rapper Quavo also wore the off-white sales as well. No doubt. I give it an A plus on that one. Perhaps someday, maybe in 2021, I'll love to wear them. I might wear them for the summertime. <laughs> hey, I'm a sneakerhead. What can I say? Coming in at number eight is the Grateful Dead Nike Dunks. First off is the orange Nike Dunk, and the retail price is $110, not bad, and the release date was on July 18th of this year. I got a chance to take a look at those dunks, the green and the yellow as well, soft, smooth, looks dope, very casual, and you can wear them from skip. You can wear them from skateboard too. No doubt about that. For the green and yellow, both of the dunks were released on the same day, July 24th. And of course, the same price, $110. Hey, that's not bad too. Like I said, good luck putting that in your sneaker budget. I gotta say, the dunks are dope. No doubt about that. And perhaps in 2021, I will get a pair, and I'm definitely going to wear them big time for whatever season, either winter, spring, summer, and fall, of course. Hey, a sneakerhead got to look good, just like yours truly. Coming in at number seven is the Off-White Black Air Jordan 5s. Now, these Jordans were released back on February 15th of this year, and the retail price on StockX is $225. No doubt about that. It's a dope shoe, but I don't like the design, though. You know, it is an off-white shoe, but I don't think I can wear them. It was released for the All-Star Weekend, though. I know basketball superstar Carmelo Anthony wore them when he was on Complex Sneaker Shopping. No doubt about that. I don't know. Maybe maybe someday I'll try them on. But I have to uh, think about that. You know. But the designs though. It's cool. But you know. Hey. Don't get me wrong y'all. Don't get me wrong. A sneaker is a sneaker. No doubt about that. So maybe someday I might try them on. But I will think about it, though. 100%. Coming in at number 6 is the Black and Gold Air Jordan 12s. Now, 
the release date was July 24th of this year. And the retail price on StockX is $140. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But make sure you put that in your sneaker budget when you go out sneaker shopping. I got a chance to see the pair of the black and gold Air Jordan 12s. They remind me of the... Don't get me wrong. They remind me of the the Flu Game 12s. You know, nothing wrong with that. It's black and gold. Makes you feel like a champion. You can wear them casually. Or sometimes you can wear them to play basketball, of course. <laughs> hey, like Mike. I want to be like Mike. If you know what I mean. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. All right, y'all. Looks like we're in the top five right now. And here are the top five sneakers. Coming in at number five is the Air Jordan 4 Union of New York. Now, they were released back on August 29th of this year. And the retail price is $250. I got a chance to take a look at the off newer Air Jordan 4s. They're dope, they're awesome, love the color, love the texture as well. The bottom of the shoe, casual, balanced, and comfortable as well. Very awesome, very awesome indeed. And I'm sure I'll go sneaker shopping for those shoes. I might get a crack at them. Besides, 2021 is a good year for me and a good year for everybody. Simple as that, no doubt. Coming in at number four is the Air Jordan 11 Jubilees, the 25th anniversary version. Now, they were released this month, December the 12th, 2020. And the retail price for those shoes is $220. Now, the Air Jordan 11's dope, awesome, but there's always a but. As you see on the Jordans, you can see the, the letters J-O-R-D-A-N, spells Jordan, on both sides of the shoe. I mean, guys, what do you think? Should the Jubilee Jordan 11s will be without the letters or with the letters? Comment below and let me know how it goes. Simple as that. Coming in at number three are the Air Jordan 14 Gym Red. Now, the release date was this year on July the 2nd, and the retail price for those shoes is $190. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me tell you. I got a chance to see the Air Jordan 14s. They're dope, badass, no doubt about that. Even though I don't have them yet, but pretty soon, real soon, I might get them. Seriously, I will get them. No doubt about that. And I will show it to y'all on the next special edition of Sneaker Jam's Rebound. You never know. Seriously, you never know. I've seen guys, I've seen girls, even kids wearing them. No doubt, it looks dope. Seriously. The sneakers look dope. It reminds me of the Last Shot 14s. And I still got them, though. <laughs> All right, coming in at number two are the low top Nike Dunks Ben and Jerry's Chunky Donkey. Now, these dunks were released back on May the 26th of this year. And the retail price on StockX is $100. Not bad. $100. Not bad at all. Good luck putting that in your sneaker budget as well. <laughs> but I got a chance to see them. It looks dope. It is an ice cream dunk shoe. You know, yours truly do love ice cream, of course. <laughs> but I would love to wear the Chunky Dunky Dunks. No doubt about that. I got a pair of dunks at home. It's an all great dunks. But I don't mind having the Ben and Jerry Dunks. You know. Hey, I could wear them and make it look casual. And I could put on an outfit with them as well. Hey, anything can happen when you're a sneakerhead. All right, coming in at number one, drum roll, please. 
the Dior Air Jordan 1s. That's right. The Jordan 1s made the number one top list. No doubt about that. The release date was April the 6th of this year. And guys, this will surprise you and also will shock you. The retail price on StockX is $2,000. Can you believe it? $2,000 on a pair of the Dior ones. I mean, shit. I don't know if I can spend $2,000 on them bitches. Seriously, man. Seriously. How are you going to spend $2,000 on the Dior ones? All you got to do is just, you know, you got to make that dough. But one thing's for sure, y'all. The sneaker does look dope. It's awesome, badass, casual, mm, comfortable, and does have a lot of balance too. And I've seen superstars, like for instance, WNBA superstar Sue Bird warned them when she was going through an injury that time. But I'm going to say this when the prices go down on the Dior. Jordan 1's, I'm going to get them. Seriously, I will get them. I don't care what price it's going to be at. I will get them. Serious. I'm for real. When I mean for real, <laughs> oh, I mean for real, I will get them to your ones. Right after the prices go down. 100%. For real. And there's your top 10 sneakers of 2020. Hey, let me know in the comments, what is your top 10 sneakers of this year? Like I said, comments below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this special edition of Sneaker Gems Top 10 Sneakers of 2020. I hope you enjoy amazing, safe holidays as well. But until then, this is Sneaker Resident Benjamin Scott saying, I'll see you guys in 2021. So God bless y'all. Peace. And always remember, lace them up and kick it with Sneaker Jam.